Did you know that you could use the other app on your desktop? On your laptop? You could actually design things right into your computer and not using your phone or your iPad. So let's get right into today's video which is how to use the desktop version of the other app. As usual, hi, what's up? Welcome back. If it's not the first time you see me, if it is, welcome. My name is Justine Lamer. I am walking into the digital marketing world. And here on YouTube, I love to talk about photo editing, business, productivity, graphic design. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like today's video that will support me. Thank you so much. And now let's get right into this video. So if you are an other app user like me, you will now know that you can use the desktop version and it's called madewithover.com. So what we're going to do is going to the website and sign up and from there we're going to see what it's possible to do on your computer. So let me record my computer screen. So now we're going to go into Google and we're going to tap made with over. And this is the first site, www.madewithover.com. Let's get right on it. If you don't have any account, if it's the first time you even hear of Over, Over is the graphic design maker. It's an app, but now they are extending the app into the desktop version and this is pretty cool. You can log in if you already have an account. If you are new, you can do start creating and make an account with this offer and then using this same account on your iPad and your phone and on your desktop. So we're going to do login and then when you log in, it brings you to the homepage where you have a go and just in make something amazing. So you can do a new project, you have your profile over here and here are my uh, project that I have made on my computer. If you are looking for your mobile project, so the project that you made on your iPhone or on your iPad, it's not working yet, so it won't be inviable, so you cannot start something from your iPad and then doing on desktop version of Over because they are still working on it, so it will happen soon. Now we are going to do a complete walkthrough of how to use over on your computer and so here you have three lines so you can do new project my project or home like the app you have customized a template so edit the image text and graphic to make it your own so here are lots of different templates that you can use and change you know the text the images and the colors to make it your own so let's do a new project and see what is going to happen so either you do a new project here on the top or you can do start a new project here on that little square this is what we're gonna do and like the app you are going to see image, text, graphic, shape, and template. Usually those are in the bottom of your screen. In that case, this is on the side. And then you will find your layer over here and you will find other settings on this side. Let's say I wanna make a story. So I'm gonna choose this and it's going to bring me directly to a transparent background. So now I'm going to put this on the side so I'm not bothered by it, but if I want a color background you can go here on background and you can choose whatever color okay so here on the side we can decide if you want an image so directly it brings you into unsplash or you can upload an image let's take this one and you can resize it by holding the corner of that picture ah and now we have a picture on the background so here is my layer i have the back transparent background and my picture on the top of that transparent background so all good now let's go and check out text here are all the options of the text so you can see that it's all on the sides now so that's um, pretty practical you can put this away so you have more space to walk into your canvas so like in the app you can change obviously the font so you will select everything and you will go into text and here you will have access to all the fonts. 
you'll be like, where are my library? So to find your library, you'll go into browse fonts and it will bring you into the font library like the app. It's exactly the same. And here you can choose right away if you want bold, italic or not. You can change the size over here so you can write directly like I don't know, 30 for example and you can tell okay I want 30% um, of letter spacing in it or oh, none at all so you do zero and you can tell oh I want a lot of space in between those two words so this is what we're gonna do or not you can choose you know where you want your uh, text to align if you want it all capital or not and obviously you have the curve option which is really cool. And if you want to make your text bigger, you don't have to, you know, put a number over here. You can just make it bigger there. And as you can see here, it changes the size anyways for you. So let's put this guy in the middle. You have that yellow line that tells you where is the middle. So that's pretty cool. Then you will find other option here, which is color, shadow, opacity, you name it. So let's go into color and find whatever color you we would like to put. As usual, exactly like in the app, you can do the eye drop and go um, anywhere in the picture to find the color of your choice. We're going to take out the shadows, like the act is the same. You can change the blur. You can even change the angles. Let's say we want to do three there and four here. You can rotate your text, obviously, and uh, flip it if you'd like. And obviously you have also mask over here. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Now let's add some graphic and see how it looks on the desktop version. Here are our graphics. So same as the app, you have collection and you can choose from those collections or you can simply tap and search for any type of graphic. Let's say I want a woman. So we're going to tap woman and from here you will have either collections of different women. But just for the example, we're going to maybe choose this one. Same as the app, if you go into the layers and you bring your lady here under the text, she will go under the text into your uh, design as well. Same, you can use shadow on your graphic, but you can give like a really cool effect to it. And maybe we can add abstract shape do maybe this one and I believe we can change the color of that. Tint, we do, let's do eye drop and we're gonna use layer again. We basically make a design together right now just to show you like it's exactly the same that in the app. We're going to go into shape here. I am using Over Pro so everything that I'm using right now is obviously free for me but if you are using uh, over the free version of over you might not have access to everything I'm using right now I think shape you can only use shape in the pro version of over this is why I'm saying that right now but if you are using over pro here are all your shapes and uh, you can add any shape anywhere you'd like add some more text we're going to rotate it like this this is how uh, it works for making your own graphic design. Also wanted to show you how to export your work from your computer and how to, you know, save it. And we want to export it. So we're gonna do into export and you will be able to change the name of your project. So I'm going to name it Boss Babe. Automatically it's gonna save into PNG, but if you go into the error here, you can do JPEG and you can tell, okay, I want medium quality, high or best, or you go back at PNG and set as default. Then you do export, and this design will go automatically into the downloads of your computer, and it's done. You can put it into your Instagram story, share it into your camera roll to have it on your phone, and you are good to go. Anyways, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something today and I hope, like, thanks to me, you're going to use the desktop version of Over. If you liked today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I would highly appreciate you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future uploads since I am about to talk about Over way more. Thank you so, so much. Until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.